what's up guys? In this video, we're gonna be gearing up a little bit and seeing if we could beat our previous record with Sprite. So Sprite is a pretty unique RC in that one motor powers only the front two wheels with no connection in the drivetrain. And then one motor powers the rear two wheels. Again, no connection in the drivetrain. So the front can spin totally separate from the rear. Um, which was a really cool concept and the reason why i built a car like this is to try something different you know everyone's doing dual motor setups now and i wanted to be pretty unique but that came at a high cost literally oh So after sorting out all those issues, we went on a tear with this car. Sprite has hit a PB every time we went out for the last four or five times. So today we geared up and now we're going to see if we can actually beat that PB of 176 miles per hour. Really hoping for it guys. Let's get out there and see what Sprite can do. Take the front down like this. It's reading, track, start. Okay. Here we come. I gotta turn the brakes up. It didn't want to stop. Stop. Read. Guess. 178. Let's go, baby! Oh my God. You know what? We're, we're so much closer to the start. Guys, so like the difference is we're so much closer to the start here that I'm not used to like, I'm used to it passing us halfway. It only passed like quarter of the way. This thing, no wonder why it took forever to slow down. Yeah, 185 miles an hour. Holy cow, 185 baby, 185, 185. Let's go baby, let's go. This gets me so pumped up. He knows, he helped build this car. I always give, <laughs> I always give credits to all the, all the shops that help me out, but this is my pops and he's an expert engine builder. I know we're racing the Chevelle and I know he's my enemy technically, but he's my dad and he helped me out build this thing. So, hey, we're gonna go as fast as we can with both of them. After hitting a PB of that caliber, totally should have just brought the car home, inspected it, but instead I decided to run again. What a mistake. All right, let's play that again, and I'm gonna explain exactly what happened. The drive shaft pin totally sheared off, and the drive shaft was just freely spinning in the cup at 40,000 plus RPM. And after this happened, I totally lost my front motor, which meant I lost my front brakes. So I had to wiggle the car back and forth to get it to slide, eventually crashing it into the side.